This is the sixth video tutorial for using Change Tracker Enterprise. In this section, I'm going to show you how to build and define a configuration management policy for your PC and server estate. I've already deployed a number of Remote Angel agents to my servers and PCs, and these are being tracked using the built in configuration trackers. However, I want to define a specific configuration policy for my network. Using Remote Angel and Change Tracker Enterprise, this takes just a few minutes to define and then apply to the entire estate. For this, I need to use the Remote Angel Configuration Hub interface. I dial in which server or PC is configured to my desired known state. This could be my best working or perhaps my most recently built PC or server. If I then click here, I can pull in a snapshot of the configured state of the target device. To start with, I'll grab the running processes. Once I have the snapshot or baseline, I can then tailor this using the controls to the right. I get four options for any process. I can define them as either mandatory, these are must run processes, for example, antivirus package or disk encryption software. Conversely, I can define a process as illegal or blacklisted. These are things that I never want to see running on a machine, for example, file sharing software or simply packages that I only want restricted use of. For instance, expensive applications like MS Project or Adobe Photoshop that I only have a few licenses for but are often installed where they shouldn't be. I can actually blacklist in a number of different ways, either at a process level or at an installed programs level. My other two options are whitelisted. These are processes I'm happy to see running on a machine but which are not mandatory. And finally, there is a fourth state which is grey listed. This really means undefined. When a new undefined process is detected, it can either be killed, as with an illegal process, or it can be noted and marked grey listed as a potential source of problems being an off policy process. In this way, we give you the option to lock down a PC or server, but without being overly restrictive or obstructive. Once I have defined my policy, I can then click set, and that's it. This updated policy will be immediately rolled out to all remote angels in the network. If you watch the local agent here, you can see it confirm it has been updated, and from now on, any deviation from this defined policy will be reported. Let's see an example. Here, a change has been detected to a PC, and if I click my compare button, it shows me that there are two deviations from policy. First of all, this user has installed and is using iTunes. This isn't a business application, and one we don't want to see on the network, as we only end up with a file server full of video and music files. Secondly, and more worryingly, the antivirus package is not running here. This needs to be rectified immediately. Using Remote Angel and a defined configuration management policy reduces support costs by at least 20%. It takes users less time to report problems, and it significantly reduces the troubleshooting process, and the costs associated with this by cutting straight to exceptions from normal policy operation. Why not contact us for a more detailed demonstration or evaluation? You've seen how easy it is to define and enforce a configuration policy, so let's get on and try it for yourself.